so switch subjects. We were talking about the bum. So what we start to lose um, as we grow older, either because of proportion, because we never played with it right in the first place or whatever, is our relationship to gravity through the pelvis. Most people think gravity is going down. Really what humans do is learn how to deal with gravity going upright. If you have, if you have issues with gravity, you're developmentally delayed or you're aging really quick if gravity is starting to win. But So if a baby doesn't go to standing, you know what I mean, or has yeah. problems with walking, one of the things they're not learning well is a good relationship to gravity. So we were talking about, you know, a baby not using their abs as much, going through the back to do the kicking. So right now, everything I, I'm doing right now, she's using her abs a lot. So that means her relationship to gravity is a bit off. So I'm just going to come in and just put my body against her just so she doesn't have to work as hard because not only are her abdomens getting confused, you see how much she just relaxed mm -hmm. into my arms? <laughs> but because she's pregnant, she's also doing a, a lot because um, now the baby's there and her body's getting a little bit confused. So, matter of fact, since you're pregnant, I probably shouldn't be working through your bum as much. I'm going to go through this side. So all I'm doing here is just, I've got her whole back supported, and I'm going through the top of the hip cavity, and I'm just looking to see when your pelvis is going to tilt back. So as you can see, it's such a gentle touch. I'm only working really with the right side. I'm not doing the right and the left. And now I'm going to go a little bit forward. And do you feel how your back's just getting ready to let go, but it's not ready? Mm -hmm. So with that, I'm just going to go back into the back just a little bit, just to let you know it's okay. People don't realize how fast proportions change on the human body when you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. So you're so busy trying to find a way to hold it. And people that do do it well, you're like, oh, you're having a baby? And they're like, yeah, I'm due next month. And you're going, uh-huh. Where the heck is a child? Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Do you feel how right yeah. here... You're rolling over onto, so let's see if that worked. That's much nicer. So now I'm just going to go back and put it in the belly. And like she gets really mad when people hold her like a baby. I just don't see I just want to look around. Yeah. Well, like I said, that's where you have to be careful with that one, that you're not going, okay, let's sit up, let's, you know. She doesn't need to walk by six just because she's doing all this work. Six months in. <laughs> but she does, she likes to be this position being held. I want to see. Hi, Ari. There we go, right through there. Feel how crossing midline has just changed. chest can go into the belly, or you can rotate over to go to the elbows, let's say. You're relaxing so yeah. much, my chair is starting to slide back. <laughs> <laughs>
I feel really thin. So I'm gonna come back up here. No, no I'll do it. I'll do it. Let it go. Actually, you're doing well for that for doing on both sides. Oh. Does that feel better? Yeah. I love it. Let's see now to twist over. Do you feel mm -hmm. how the foot feel the difference? Yeah. So let me quickly just. I don't want to leave you more so un. Normally, I don't mind leaving people uneven, but because she's pregnant, I don't want her to be uh, where her system's confused. I tell you all this because she's spoiled. Uh -huh. It sounds so sad. There you go. Okay. Now I'm just going to free up your head. And this goes back to freeing up the head, what we're talking about with the baby. 